greater richness. It will release the greater blessings, the greater glory, the end time power church we are so hungry for. Resurrection, it says in 11, 15 Romans, to rule and reign upon the earth. And it will release the final outpouring and harvest upon the earth as we move, as He moves, as we allow the Holy Spirit to move us into this intercessory role, to shift our focus and to prioritize our prayer and intercession, no longer to think of Israel as just a nation, but, to, but as a covenant people and to pray for the peace of Jerusalem, for everything, good or bad, that the Word says must come to be in order for the true Prince of Peace to return to us. Someone say, Amen. Amen. This is the reconnection. This is the final peace. And as we take them on as our brother to be restored, connected to our Father's heart, that His love, that His mercy and His patience would pour forth through us. Look out. Oh my God, if we truly knew the significance and consequences of this transaction in us, how we would run to it with all our hearts and all our might. For we are coming into the greatest fight and the greatest battle of all spiritual history. This next awakening is going to bring us on our knees and our faces to supplicate for the greatest outpouring that is ever to come upon the earth. What a time to be alive. But it will be focused, church, to the Jew first and then to the nations. And this is why we need to realign our supplication, our intercession and our evangelism. You know, I write in my book, that if we want the fire, we have to first reconnect the wire. And we must understand from our Father's viewpoint, which is all that really counts, the church is not a separate entity from Israel, which is why we must reconnect spiritually. We are grafted into them. And this message is coming to you first HIM it's coming to you first in the church because you are on the cutting edge you are like little children you are like the blind man that willingly submits and says yes I'll go wherever I need to I'll do whatever I'll do I worship you I'll give you my life you are the glory seekers and because of that God has given you the revelation of the fivefold, but it comes from Jewish apostolic roots, the final peace that you must carry with you in your hearts. Yes, come on, come on church, yes. Will you come with me HIM? Will you open your pulpits to this reconnection and allow me to speak and teach? Will you get behind this reconnection and blow the shofar of Israel into the church? Will you be on the forefront of this connection as you are with the five hold and allow the Spirit to connect you? My best friend is a Messianic artist and God has given him some beautiful spiritual art that he draws and paints and draws and paints. And one of the pieces is an illustration of the shofar. So I asked him to prepare a special piece for Papa Jay, our apostle in the faith, and for HIM group. And we will be selling them at the table during the conference. The shofar is a prophetic piece to be blown into the reconnection, into God's family between Jew and Gentile. And I believe that this message is to be trumpeted. But this message cannot go forth without the leaders without the leaders in the church embracing it and trumpeting it. 
and especially our theologians who need to seriously examine what I'm saying. And so I asked my brother Richard to come and to be with us and to bring his shofar, which he only blows when the Holy Spirit tells him to. And as we present this piece to Papa Che, I would like you to step out of your chairs. I would like you to come down to this altar that we can have a brief time in the Holy Ghost together regarding this reconnection. I'm going to ask you, all of you in this room, and there are many leaders and pastors here, and I'm going to ask you to open your hearts and to accept this shofar call into your spirit, that you would leave this place with the reconnection burning in your heart and a new hunger and thirst to learn everything about it and to take it back to your congregations and churches and blow it wherever it can be heard. Papa Che, we love you as your Jewish brothers. We love you. And we present you, we present you with, with this beautiful piece of art as a remembrance. I am deeply honored. Thank you so, so very much. And I receive this on behalf of HIM and all the uh, apostles and prophets and members of HIM. And I think this is very, very significant. I feel two things have happened that's been very significant as far as advancing the kingdom in the spirit realm. What happened with John Benenfield bringing the spirit of Baal, any ties of Baal. But also, again, you know, one of the things that, one thing I think about the Chinese and the Koreans in particular, we have had no history of anti-Semitism, as you know, you know, it's been primarily in Europe. And that's why for us, it was really embraced, easy to embrace. I mean, I grew up, all my best friends were Jewish, and, you know, it was just, there was not even an you know, issue. But I do feel, for those who are in the West, they're your forefathers, and generationally. And, uh, and so you may not, we're not saying you're anti-Semitic at all, but what Amen. he's dealing with is in the spirit realm, breaking the bloodline uh, of your past generation. And I think we need to all receive this by faith. And, and when the shofar blows, I want you to receive your deliverance from any generation curse so we could come into the full covenantal blessing that was promised Abraham in Genesis 12, 1 through 3, that you will bless as you bless Israel. Uh, and of course, in Galatians 3, uh, 13 now that he's redeemed us from every curse having become a curse for us so that the blessing of uh, Abraham will come upon us as his children so let's receive this by faith Just briefly, let's just close our eyes. Some of you may have been felt a conviction. Some of you may even have felt a resistance. And that's because of the bloodline. That's because, and so if you felt it, just allow the Spirit just to minister to you, just to, uh, to, to make you aware of it, and just to confess it and let it go. There's no condemnation. There is no condemnation. The Lord wants us clean and pure. He wants His family coming together so that we can be one. But He wants this past stuff dealt with. And very few of us are, are not affected by it somehow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So I just uh, throw this out to some of the prophets in nature. I mean, anything else we need to do as far as this prophetic guy? Becca, hey, anything else you're thinking about? Just to see this? Okay. Let me, we're going to release you. We're a little bit over time. But listen, um, uh, Grant Barry is going to do a book signing. I want to encourage you to pick up the 
Ezekiel generation, new covenant realities, and and so, uh, but uh, we'll again you can save your seat, but we'll gather together at 6:30. Door, doors will be open. Bill Johnson tonight. God bless you. We'll see you tonight. Thank you so much.